Many are questioning that the National People's Congress has no right to enact the national security law for Hong Kong. Is that the case? Well, the National People's Congress, of course, uh, is the uh, ultimate uh, body of state power under the Chinese constitution. Uh, it can enact laws for any part of the country, uh, including national security laws. The National People's Congress, of course, only allowed uh, Hong Kong the uh, authority uh, to uh, enact its own national security laws uh, as, as its agent. So it, <laughs> it was entrusting Hong Kong as an agent to act on its behalf to enact these laws. Uh, and the NPC has waited patiently, as indeed has the rest of the country, for 23 years for this to be done. Uh, so it's leant over backwards to be reasonable about the matter. Uh, but nothing has happened. Uh, and of course, as I say, this was brought to a head last year when uh, local uh, protest movements, uh, 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 agitators, uh, took advantage uh, of the gap in the law to exploit the situation uh, and uh, try to destabilize the country. So in those circumstances, quite clearly, the NPC had no option uh, but to step in uh, and to act. Quite clearly, no other country in the world would allow a situation to arise in which a part of the country uh, has no national security laws. Uh, and when <laughs> that uh, situation is exploited by uh, elements which are opposed to the country itself and indeed by foreign forces, no country in the world would tolerate that situation. The United States wouldn't, the United Kingdom wouldn't, Canada would, France wouldn't. So why should China be the only place in the world, the only country which allows a part of its, uh, its, uh, its nation uh, not to have any national security laws in order to protect the country.